what you got? Need I say more? A banana and nuts. Oh, yeah. Okay. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. It's what's for breakfast. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon. Follow us on Instagram. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you. Have you seen these particular nuts? They're from India. Uh-huh. And uh, when you open them, it's it, the, when you break the seal, this is what you get. Watch, watch. Rule number one. It's incredible. They're big bees. So this is a, a video that just came out. It's from Architectural Digest India. This is inside Karen Johar's bachelor pad Hello? in Mumbai. So you I'm, kinda... I'm really sorry. There's so many other things that could have been at the end of that sentence when you have the first few words be inside Karan Johar's butt. Yeah, I, I was just... I would There's so many other video. things, yeah. Ear. Even that would have been more interesting to me. <laughs> I am interested, though, to know of his bachelor pad and, and how many uh, hampers he's got in there. Well, I guarantee this it's is going to be blinged out inside his Mumbai bachelor pad. It's going to be probably has out. three houses in Mumbai, one house in Delhi. Oh yeah, one house. you know this is the bachelor pad, and I think it's going to be totally, totally blinged out. He has five. You think so? Minimum of five. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Yeah. Um, when you have that kind of stupid money, yeah, it's uh. Here we go. Hey, Hi. Lady. It's Nikanjula. Come on in. I Thank know who, you. I know who you are, sir. Slow mo walk. He, he has Just a, like the housewives of Beverly Hills. He's got a. How would I describe this house in three words? Glamorous, aesthetic, livable. Karan's apartment is a true reflection of his personal style. As soon as you enter the house, there's a drama which begins. <laughs> the house has huge mirrors, these geometric patterns, it's glamorous. It's pretty. Cheap, it's really nice. Over the top, as one would expect. It. Really nice. My inspiration was zero. This entire home is entirely a result of Gauri Khan's supreme aesthetic sensibility. I have no contribution, literally nothing. This is a Gauri Khan baby all the way. It's beautiful. The night we called really close friends for dinner is when I saw the house for the first time. So when I was showing it, I was also seeing it. Ha! It's gorgeous. So this project is really, really close to my heart. Probably because I just love Karan. That's one of the reasons. And, and his I money. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. I love the black. I do too. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a gorgeous... Uh... Do you think he has a makeup person every day? A hundred percent. He's got makeup, hair, and stylists. Just to go out of his house? For every uh, moment. What does home mean to any of us? Home means like a, a safe space that is just yours. When I really wrap up the day for myself... This is I a beautiful, up, beautiful place. And I, lie and I, I love and I everything we've seen. Really chill. I literally just Netflix. Uh, those are the best moments of my day. So home is, to me... My safe domain, home is to me where not just my heart is, but where my head is at many a time. And home is also to me a protected area, protected environment where I feel confined from the rest of the world. Beautiful. Show me the view. Beautiful. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I could have seen more. Uh, they're probably not showing the view so that you can't specify where in Mumbai it's located. Oh, I guarantee located. everybody knows where he lives. You think so? Just, like when we were, we were in Mumbai, obviously everybody, everybody knows, knows where, where SRK, SRK lives. But no, no, like when we were in Mumbai and we were walking around, that's Some of the true. Stupid were telling us, uh, yeah, Renvier and Topeka live like yeah, right that's over true. here. That's true. Uh, Renvier lives over here, and I'm like, <laughs> fuck you all know that. exactly. I mean, I guess it's there's Star Tours here, so everybody knows where stars live here. Yeah, so it's true. I one of my favorite things about that, a lot of the times when people have a lot of money to to decorate their places, there's two aspects of it that I dislike. The first one is so often they just it feels so cold. It doesn't feel livable. Mm -hmm. it, it feels more like a museum than it does a place to live. That felt, there was a beautiful balance. And I wish Indrani could see it because she has such an eye for interior design that surpasses mine. 
but there was a beautiful balance of of things that were museum like mm -hmm. including living things there were plants and there were warm tones and it i just if i was taking a tour of that place with him i would be saying nothing but superlatives and say please tell your designer this is you, a beautiful have you ever home. Seen the video of Michael Jackson going shopping at this like antique at a, store when he closed the shop for himself and he's buying the stuff for himself, like insanely overpriced. Oh yeah, ugly art. That's the that's the other aspect oh. for me, is I'm not a I'm not a fan of excess where you've got 50,000 square feet and it's just you and your partner living in there and it's yeah. I mean yeah you're gonna host parties and stuff. Oh, if you but, haven't seen it, it's incredibly intriguing <laughs> because i'm also not a, i like that he said johar on there but i'm also not a big fan of people who have nothing but pictures of themselves all over their walls mm -hmm. that doesn't bother me sorry i didn't interrupt you uh if you haven't seen it i'm sure it's on youtube somewhere but like he's just it's it's like what you'd imagine like rich people who like just like oh that's expensive i'll buy that obnoxious money it but it's like not even pretty stuff either no he's like he wanted these two vases right here and he's like, how much are those uh 250,000 each. Okay, yeah, we'll take two of those. <laughs> yeah. And so, obviously, Michael Jackson had the yeah. most insane amount of money in the world. But obviously. just because you got it doesn't mean you should spend yeah, it. Yeah, no. But, like, also, apparently, he has no taste at all because it was all hideous. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it was, I mean, he, he was worth, what, half a billion or maybe even a billion? Or yeah, maybe, oh, yeah. Probably around he, he had, he was worth a lot. He and worth, he was worth a lot more dead than alive. But yep, that's yep. another story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, if you but, watch, if you watch, <laughs> I'm addicted to. To the now to the housewives of Beverly Hills with my wife. Judge me, shame me, don't care. I will. And one of the housewives in season, it's either one or two, um, is showing off her new sunglasses. Hideous. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollar sunglasses. I'm all for celebrating prosperity and getting things that you would like to get and splurging on yourself. A quarter of a million dollars on a pair of sunglasses. Were they even nice? In the words of Brian Cox on Succession, fuck off. <laughs> and he says it so great. Too. He does. It's, it's the oh, best. Fuck off. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> and it's great because that's Brian Cox. He's my spirit animal. That's not just Logan. That's that's Brian Cox. Yeah. I, I love, love him. I love Brian Cox. But anyway, uh, yeah, beautiful it, home. Beautiful home, obviously. Beautiful. I'm sure this is just one of his many homes uh i want what's the cost i want to know what that cost in dollars yeah in dollars for that designer to do that i'm sure we'd be shocked at how inexpensive it is Maybe comparatively a million? yeah i would be i'd be surprised if it was here, even a million if this dollars was in like la that would be uh like it looked like a full penthouse. design penthouse five to ten million probably probably in, like in a nice part probably. of LA, yeah, um, probably. So maybe like a million, two million. But like I, I would love that. Is so beautiful. I'd love to see other designs that this designer has done for interior design. I think that house is gorgeous. Um, and Kieran, if you ever want to invite us over, just let us know. Yes, we'd be more than happy to have our interview be done at your pad, and we can also drink. I don't know if you drink. Yeah, I don't know if he does. Well, we'd have coffee with you. I can never tell with Indian because some Indians are. Like, I know it's, like, it's part of their religion; they don't drink. They yeah, don't. and so I'm like, it's hit and miss. I never know. But the cool thing is that he wouldn't care if we did. Most most yeah. of them are like, yeah, I don't drink, but go ahead. I have no idea if he does yeah. or not. Anyways, uh, let us know what other videos. Uh, I know there's there's. Uh, I was hoping like Renvier or Topeka would have, but I, I bet you know because I would never do this if I was rich because my house is too too sacred. In like a, a safe space, right? To do a personal tour, yeah, I would, yeah. I would never allow the out the people that I just don't trust to just come in my house and film it. Yeah, neither would Andrani would be. That would be a big hard no it's, for Andrani uh, and I. It's kind of just our safe space. It's just mm -hmm. our our house. I don't, yeah, I don't want you so seeing even what's if, in my house. Even if I was totality. Like really rich and it was a, a really nice house, like maybe if it was like my vacation home or something like that. <laughs> but even then, even then, I'm like, mm, no. Nah. No, so it's your sanctuary. I, I bet there's a lot of, especially celebrities, that are like, and I wonder how much they have to pay for that. For access? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, interesting. Because I think Variety does it a lot. I think they go through people's houses and stuff like that. And so I wonder what they pay. It's like, we're going to do an interview, but we want to do like a, a, a house tour. Are you cool with it? 
because they happen. Hey, you know how the only celebrities w- don't do stuff. For no, free. the way the way I'd feel comfortable with it would be, for example, if you're nominated for an Oscar and Oprah Winfrey wants to do an interview and she would love it for interview to beat your home, or if David Letterman was doing his, uh, my guest needs no introduction interviews. Those kinds of things, I would allow partial glimpse. Not a full glimpse. I wouldn't give you a full tour. No, I wouldn't. Do but that. I would allow a partial glimpse. Like we can go out somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Stay out of my house. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, let us know what other videos we can react to down below. Just-